Logan Storm, the Pro Tour Wrestling Management, the big man. You see, me and you, we have a massive problem. Because you were the man that came to me with an idea. You said, Dean, I've got an idea. We're going to have this tournament to crown the first ever Joker champion. You are the perfect guy for this tournament. That was that was fantastic. I was up for that. Let's go. Then we fast forward a few months. His name's the tournament. The poster's up. There's no prize fighter on the tournament. What's going on? What, what, what's the problem here? You try to mug me off? Like, or maybe, maybe you're actually quite smart. Maybe you've done your research. Maybe you've battered my name into the Google machine and you've seen all the tournaments I've won as a young kickboxer up and down this country, beating everybody there was to beat, and you've realised that you don't want me taking out half your roster in the one night. So you've got four of the best up-and-comers in that tournament, that's all good. But if you're in that tournament, I hope you're listening, because you have a massive target on your back. And whoever wins it, Logan Storm, you have blood on your hands because whoever wins that tournament is going to get knocked spark out. It's Pro Tuesday! That's right folks, once again it's me, your host, Kid Thompson, bringing you another jam-packed episode of Pro Tuesday. In this episode, we'll get the second round of the Joker's Wild Championship Tournament. The most mysterious being in all of wrestling, Zero, taking on a Scottish luchador, Soldato. I can't wait to see who wins that. But as well as that, we've got the Billington Bulldogs! Thomas and Mark Billington defending their Tag Team Championships against Hardhead Smith and Rob Valentine. You don't want to miss it. But up next, we've got the crowning of the very first Pro 2 Miss Inspiration Pageant Queen. Let's find out what happens. And here is Pro 2's international beauty queen, Juliet Phoenix, making her way to the ring. That's indeed the, the first lady of Pro 2 wrestling. I think what we've got going on here is a, a coronation ceremony. I believe we're going to be crowning Miss Rosie Knight as our Pro 2 Miss Inspiration. Never really got it myself, kid. I thought it was for her belt. And just to make sure she got a wee crown to go along with it. Oh. Oh, a, a, a little hug for the fans there. You'll love to see it. You love to see it. She's a bit of a fan favourite as well, Rosie. Oh, absolutely. And a great Bell's Division champion, I must be said. Fighting champion. Some response for Rosie Knight. Yeah, I, I, and you, lo you love to see it. Where else but Pro 2 can you have this, this sort of pageantry? I've never seen it anywhere else before in my life. Not even in the days of Miss Elizabeth. 
Yes, and you can only imagine, you only imagine that was a missed opportunity there, but... Uh, Although the sensational Queen Sherry yes. comes slightly close and was one of my favourites back in the day, I have to say, not only as a wrestler, but as an amazing manager. Yes, indeed. You love to hate her, really. <laughs> oh, you love to hate her. But somebody would... Oh, that, that you know... You love to see this, this uh, crowning ceremony here. And, and it's well-deserved. It's well-deserved. There. Something about un, about unusual for for us to be. <laughs> a pat in the baldy napper for Suave. You know you love to see it. Love to see it. Have I said that before? It's getting quite it's getting, catchy. <laughs> it's getting quite. You know that's why they call me the kind of catch phrases. Just as well, I've seen you fishing. <laughs> I do apologise, it's not becoming of me to laugh on commentary, but... Uh... Pro 2 Wrestling is sponsored by Car Repair 24. Car Repair 24 carries out work for Scotland's leading insurance companies and offers free and honest advice with fully insured and guaranteed repairs, giving you complete peace of mind. For more information on Car Repair 24, check out the website at cr24ltd.co.uk or on Facebook at Car Repair 24. Car Repair 24, top quality car repairs in Ayrshire. And here we are for the next round in the Joker's Wild Tournament. It excites me this tournament. I mean, where else can you see? Where else can you see a tournament as to see who's going to hold the gold in Pro Two Wrestling? I'll be honest. Not since King of the Ring has there been such an important tournament. Uh, and and it is an important tournament. And this and this man here will be. Are you, did you did it just get cold? I feel the atmosphere changing in here. I'll tell you right now. It here. certainly did. This character is one scary dude. Yeah, he is the most mysterious man, human being, ethereal monster, zero. I'm not entirely sure he is human, if I'm honest with you. Well, I did ask him one time, where do you come from? Mm -hmm. I just got the coldest stare, and it went right through me, kid. I'll tell you what. Look, look at the cr the kids barking away there and might and and a good thing they are really. I mean this is a s I mean this is a scary guy. He means business. Whoa, oh, even ah, he even get ah. You don't see many of the kids want to give him a high five. No, he even comes into the ring like a spider or something. Oh, oh man. Oh Jesus. He plays a character. Oh. He is the character. Shaking he the lives the character. There. He is zero. It doesn't get any lower yes. unless you get into Mortal Kombat territory and you go sub zero. But zero, that's our rock bottom. Good call, Spam. Good call. Jeez, man. You just feel the sort of atmosphere of fear. The, 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 I am the, so scared to see what is underneath that jacket. Is it even going to be able to... I'm expecting a few legs that are not hanging about there. He could have eight legs here underneath that jacket. Good. How many moves? He's got rigor mortis. It's terrifying. I wouldn't want to be stepping into the ring with zero at all. Never. You got out of there as well, so I've got a good idea. I had to. That shiver you're talking about was ice cold in that ring. And, it, and here we have uh, Soldato Luchador and that Mexican 
fighting style right here at the Troon Concert Hall he's still just my second favourite luchador though oh I'm still a big fan of the Lucha DS yes indeed I, you know I, I just love to see that that luchador style being um, being basically shown here to everybody at Troon Concert Hall traditional Mexican Whoa! high flying these guys are fit yes whoa and Zero just wants to get straight into it. You know, you don't get paid by the hour. And if you want to get to that pay window quickly and get to the gold in the next round, that's what you've got to do. Got to do what you've got to do. It'll be no holds barred by Zero. You know, so <laughs> he's checking the referee as well. You know, you've got to be sure. You can never be too sure these days, pal. Oh, oh. Oh, gee, why is this like the? Oh, oh my God! A referee, Richard. There. I mean, I wouldn't want to get too close to him either. But he's got to do his job. He's got to do his job. Ooh, I'm sorry, Swab. This guy, this creeps. This guy creeps the Jesus out of me. <laughs> I cannot like it. He is the scariest guy in Pro 2. I've got to agree with you. So that we're trying to get the crowd warmed up from this deathly chill that's upon us. Well, even if you look at the skin tone of Zero, I think he might actually sleep in a fridge freezer. I think he might sleep upside down from rafters like a bat. That very well could oh. be the case. Oh, man. Soldato has his work cut, cut out for him here. Definitely. You know, he's just trying to get that... You know, trying to get warmed up. How do you take on a guy like Zero? How do you, you know, what kind of fighting style does he have? I wouldn't even know where to start oh. my approach. He's so unorthodox. Absolutely. He's twisting that wrist lock oh, on. That arm's nearly out of the socket. Absolutely. I mean, you know, the, the primary focus is the wrist, but that's going to work its way down the joint. Oh. Oh, lo lovely front flip there. You know, and with these luchadors... They know some amazing reversals, you know, for for any situation. So even even a ethereal being like Zero will perhaps struggle against a luchador. And you've got to imagine that uh, Soldato's speed has to be an advantage too. Oh, oh, nice. small package oh. with a bridge, crucifix pin. Oh my, that was lovely. You know the thing about Pro Two is you're always you know the wrestlers that we are having here use the most unorthodox move sets. You know, as a commentator, it's actually pretty difficult to keep up with them because you're you're having to go into into the the, the, the doldrums of your mind to try and to try and find the moves that these guys are using, the names for them. Absolutely, kid. Some are revolutionary. Oh, nice step up kick there. over the top rope oh clothesline what a clubbing clothesline that was as well it's just a two count Zero's not happy with that absolutely and you can tell with, with Zero's physical makeup as well he's actually a lot he's actually a lot taller than you would think he's got those rangy arms and legs definitely an unorthodox component to fight against Oh, a big European uppercut. Stumbled Soldato there. The, the Zero's game definitely seems to be wearing his man wearing his man down with his big, huge club and forearms and, and boots. Jeez. I would certainly say he's been able to wear his man down so far. 
And did you see how he, how he took that opposing arm and applied the pressure to it during that pinning attempt there? That, that That's, you know, so masterful in the ring. He's a clinical man. I've, oh! Snapping that. Oh! Snapping that arm. I've never seen that before either. An uppercut to the to the arm as well while he's got it in a Hyper extending at that shoulder point. That's going to take away quite a bit of your manoeuvrability in that left arm. Now you can actually see a red draw that arm is for that action. Absolutely. And as a luchador, they do tend to favour their left hand side when they're applying their, their Mexican wrestling offence. So it's very clever of Zero to try and isolate that arm and put it out of commission. Very much so. Oh. He's got to capitalise here though, he can't mess about. Illegal oh. manoeuvres all over! He just drags Soldato up bodily by the head. Straight into the tongue buckle. What's he going for here? Oh, I think he's going for a splash of some sort, but he's... Oh! I mean, Soldato rolling through, but then coming in with a kick as well. As Not just a kick, kid. That was a spinner uni kick. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, can Soldato capitalise on that and use the crowd's energy behind him to put his man away? Let's hope. No. Oh. The pure fear. Absolutely. I mean, fear will play such a big part in this in this tournament. Especially when you're fighting a character like Zero. You know, fe you know, use utilizing that fear is as much a part of Zero's move set as any physical maneuver that he does. That was that's going to make him Russian leg sweep. He does favour that Russian leg sweep, the zero. Old school manoeuvre, always get the job done. Yes, indeed. You'll see some of these some of these manoeuvres that you haven't seen in a while coming back around. Wrestling is cyclical at that because if people are training to you know counter a commonly used manoeuvre, then the people you know the wrestlers are just going to come up with other manoeuvres. And where do they go to? They go to their history books to see what manoeuvres used to be in favour. Well. A lot of these come for the best there was, the best there is, and the best there ever will be. Yes, indeed. Did you see that hat man? Great movie. <laughs> was, oh! Just a, just a shoulder pinch there of that. Right on that trapezoid muscle. Yes, indeed. Working on that, that big nerve that runs through there. And again, that's isolating the isolating the, the, the upper body and the arms. It's also stopping that blood flow. So that arm is going to be getting more and more numb as the pressure is applied. Yes, indeed, and, and, and so much of that luchador offense relies on that. Oh, kick, oof. Some knees to the, knees to the midsection. Oh, nice sunset flip. Rolls through, drop kick. I mean, it's all they can do, just keep zero off of him. Without a doubt. Oh, zero just getting up off the canvas like a reanimated corpse. Oh, nice there's, arm drag. There's no keeping this man down. Oh. He is inhuman. Oh, Zero spotted that. Zero is not a fan of the crowd here, it must be said. Oh. Oh, looks like we're going. Oh, this step through arm drag there. I don't think he quite got all of it, Swav. Certainly got most of it there. Oh! Hurricanrana! 
you know, I, I love to see these Mexican moves being applied here. I love you, Moan. They're using the ropes as springboards for these moves. Yeah, I mean, the, the ring is a weapon in and of itself. It's there. Use it. Absolutely. Oh, Shining Wizard. Oh, so close. Thought he had his man there. That was two and three quarters. You can see the referee doing a great job of getting himself into position there where he can see the shoulders properly. As in a, in a tournament as prestigious and special as this, you don't want anything to come down to chance. You don't want anything to be overlooked. Definitely not. Puts on the brakes, holding on to the ropes. Utilising those long arms to get that reach. For electric chair drop. No way. And again, you talk about moves you don't see very much. Oh, electric chair drop, drop with a bridge. Wow, I've never seen that before. Electric chair drop, pretty much into a German. Unbelievable. Well, zero advances in this tournament, Swav Gav. Well, I have to be to honest, Soldato. Zero is a contender. Definitely a contender. Yes, indeed. Logan man. Smith did well, but this guy's so unorthodox. How do you wrestle him? Absolutely, and, and you, you'll notice that in his offense, he doesn't. There is no wasted offense with Zero. None. So he conserves that energy and uses the ring to his advantage. Yes, indeed. So I mean, Logan Smith has a hard fight ahead of him here. Oh no, no, you, you hate to see that. There's no, there's no need for this. He's already through in the tournament. What's he doing, Slav? He's just over oh. the odds here. There is absolutely no place for this in Pro 2 Wrestling. Referee, you've got to get in there. Referee, you've got to get oh, in there. there. And to the rescue, L Lucha DS. Lucha DS. Oh, oh, smashed it. Super kick. Wow. Surely not. Surely not, kid. What's he going for? Is, is, is it? Could I it be? think so. I think he's in here. Here we go. Six one nine. Nails him right on the slobber knocker. Yes, indeed. I mean, Zero would do well to get himself backstage, get his rest, get himself together, get back into that little fridge freezer, cool off. Yes, indeed. I think Nosferatu has had his turn in the coffin. It's time for Zero to take some, some get into that Lazarus pit or whatever it is he does back there. Oh, oh, is it, uh, yeah. it, Zero's just taking a pot shot at Suave Gav there. Are you, are you okay, Suave? I'm recovering. Craig, you just stole the microphone from, microphone from me there and just put you down, man. The guy just, he's an animal. Unbelievable, this is what you don't want to see. But he has advanced kids, so we have to respect that much. Absolutely. Team of Lucha Scotland there, you know, they do like the crowd love to see the the Lucha dolls. You know, they love to they love to see them. Pro two wrestling. On May the 1st, you see two debuts. Myself, Hammerhead Smith, and Rob Valentine. Now you've put us up against the tag team champions of Pro 2, the oh so overrated up and coming tag team, the Billington Bulldogs. You are looking at a second generation wrestler. You are looking at a guy that's been in this business since he was a little lad. 
And when you step into the ring with me and Rob Valentine, you will soon realize that you are looking at the best tag team. Because we are coming to Scotland, not only just to kick your asses from pillar to post, but we are taking those championships off you. And not only that, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I'm gonna teach you what true professional wrestling is. You now go to the next level. Yo, it's your boy, Rob Valentine, and I'm here to talk to you today about my debut for Pro 2 Wrestling. Now, me and my boy, Hammerhead Smith, we're forming a tag team. We go back years. Me and Double H, we're gonna make our way up to Scotland, to Troon Concert Hall on May Day, May 1st, Joker's Wild for Pro 2 Wrestling. And we will be facing the Billington Bulldogs for their tag team championship belts. And I gotta tell you, they're gonna get clattered. We're walking away with the belts. We're gonna win. Easy does it. I'm gonna come on, sit my belt on my mantelpiece and look at it for the rest of the night. Oh, it's true. It's gonna happen. I will see you there on May 1st at Troon Concert Hall. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Valentine goes nationwide. I'm Red Smith, Rob Valentine. The both of us have heard your message loud and clear. And it seems like the both of you are looking for a challenge. Well, rest assured, May 1st, that is exactly what you're going to get. Mr. Valentine, as far as the built on Bulldogs are concerned, you're still nothing but a novice to all this. And you're not ready for the task at hand of taking the built on Bulldogs Tag Team Championships. I'm Red Smith. You talk about the built on Bulldogs as overrated. Well, the thing is with you, you've never been rated, and you most certainly never will be. Now, Mr. Valentine and Mr. Hammerhead Smith, on May 1st, we don't think you've got what it takes to take these championships. You will never feel power like the Billington Bulldogs. And at the end of the night, please let us know what it's like to live in the Billington Bulldogs shadow. So May 1st, you want to hammer your heads into the canvas. The next bout is for the Pro 2 Tag Team Championships. And introducing first, the opponents, Hammerhead Smith and Rob Valentine. As soon as these two guys were announced, they became instantly the top contenders to the brand new Pro 2 Championship. But this is what I can tell you. There are some interesting characters in the crowd here tonight at Troon Town Hall. They've come a long way and they have no intention of going back down the motorway empty-handed right here at a packed Troon Town Hall, the Pro 2 Tag Team Championships is up next. Number one! You're looking at the best team right here! You're looking at them! Look at these guys. Absolute monsters. They have got a reputation of taking no prisoners. They said backstage they're not interested in what these people want. They're not interested in the legacy of the Billingtons. They're here to break that in half. Right in the middle of a Pro 2 wrestling ring. You can see that getting into it with the fans here. I don't envy the referee keeping in control of these two. This could break down. We could go sprawling right into Trin Harbour. When these two... We were told they were making their way to Pro 2 Wrestling. We knew there was going to be trouble, and this could be trouble for the Bellingtons tonight. The Pro 2 Tag Team Championships on the line. Let's get the introductions of the champs from Suave Gav. And the opponent, and Pro 2 Tag Team 
Listen to this. The Bellington Bulldogs making that first successful defence, hopefully, in Toontown Hall A Joker's Wild. Anything can happen. And there they are. Mark and Tom coming from a great legacy of pro wrestling. Let's nice make no bones about it, but it's what they are today. Incredible young athletes. Students of the game, how is Shubi? Now look at this, and we got ourselves a couple of Bulldogs coming down to ringside with them. Big John's going to do his... I didn't know there were going to be dogs here. Why did no one tell me there was going to be dogs here? Levitt. All right, but we got ourselves a hell of a match. The Bellingtons have been winning championships and turning heads all around the world on some of the major scopes, and I can see some interesting parties. I don't want to take anything away from the introductions of our tag team match, but I can see Mark Sweeney, and I can see Adam Shane being flanked by security. Whoa, 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 right. We're just getting ready to end this. Two of the heavy hitters of Scottish pro wrestling. They're not meant to be here. I've known Adam Sheen a long time and Mark Sweeney is one of... You can hear Adam Sheen. They've made it very clear they want to become Pro 2 Tag Team Round. They want to collect belts all across the country and these two Roughnecks need to get them the hell out of here. I couldn't agree more, Billy. Also, I'm back. No, thank you very much. It's, uh, you've had a mint. You smell great. Right. <laughs> We've got a hell of a match here. You guys got to sit down and watch new champions being crowned. I'm trying to take away from these two. I mean, this is trouble. Whether get the police, whenever these two turn up, people get assaulted. I can't believe they've done that, you know. Uh, do you know something, though? It's playing mind games. It's what it is. They're getting in their heads just as the challenges are tonight. They're trying to get in the head of the Bellingtons, but they're not going to do that. You think of the legacy of wrestling they've been at. The learning trees that they've studied at. You don't become Pro 2 Tag Team Champions by accident, kid. Right, tell me about this team, though. Tell me about this team that we have standing across the ring from them. you got a chance to speak to these guys. They're not coming in here to make up the numbers. They want to take those belts back to England here. Absolutely. So you've got the team of Rob Valentine and Hammerhead Smith. Hammerhead Smith himself coming from a world of sport uh, background. Yep. Uh, in terms of his family. And uh, these these gentlemen, they've been they've been talking some trash, basically, Billy. How's he going to keep those glasses on for the whole match? He's not good. Good news. I think he's having some trouble adjusting. I mean, it's going to affect all you. It's going to affect your sight. It's going to affect. I mean, is he part bat? We don't even know at this point. Let's get this bad boy started. I'm very excited to see the Billingtons in action. I've not had the opportunity to actually call a Billingtons match. This has always been an ambition of mine. So this is a, this is a bit of a dream come true. We got Mark and Tom on one side. We've got Hammerhead Smith and Rob Valentine. Look at this big man on there. Look at him. He's, he's what, easily, what, six foot three? Probably about 16, 17 stone. He's got one hell of a man. Look at this. He is shouting in the face of every single person. I think it, I don't necessarily know if he just wants to take on the Billingtons. I think he's going to take off half a trin here tonight. He's going to be out there smashing fish by the end of the show. Yes, indeed. It must be said the height and the weight advantage would be going to Hammerhead Smith. Oh! All right, look at this oh. sidestepping. The explosive quickness. The, the sheer speed of these. Look at this. Wow. Dynamic. Wow. Straight through to a sunset flip. Pop straight out of this. We're going to have a hard time keeping up with this, kid. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> oh. this, is, this is so fast. It's unreal. Making it seem effortless. Absolutely. Going straight up to the top rope. It's like time and space become elastic when these Billingtons are around. It's incredible. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Shotgun drop kick. Just absolutely blasting right in the nape of the neck. It's done. Get that man back in the ring and pin him. Yes, indeed. He's, I think he's going to be needing to go to Cross House straight after this, Billy. Look at that. He's dazed and he's confused. They won't take him. I've had a word. They oh. won't take him. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Whoa! Oh, oh. we shot it. That's why they call it pro wrestling, folks. It's high risk. And that was a high risk manoeuvre there, It Billy. certainly was. You can just see 
He moved out of the way of the adjustment. Give Mark a, a second, sorry, I should say, Tom, a second, second, just to rethink it. You've got to make that adjustment, and that's where the risks happen. Yes, so this is. is an opportunity, a real window of opportunity. You can see the concern on Mark standing in the corner, keeping an eye. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, Thomas is trying to gather, him, gather himself, gather his thoughts. He He's doing great. He must be discombobulated. He must be feeling somewhat dazed. These two heavy hitters, it's incredible. Gee, was right the, the way crowd. they're put together, effortless. The Billington's just oh. so tough. Everyone knows that. If you've ever Massive read up on any ball. element of pro wrestling, New Japan pro wrestling, all around oh. the planet. So it's not going to be easy. Look, peppering the nose with punches right to the cheekbone, trying to knock him spark out. Oh, wow. Referee, keep an eye on these. Close fists, what are we doing? Although it's something if the window of opportunity is there, kid. This makes me sound like a total villain. But literally, I would do some of the most despicable things if I thought I could get something up on someone. Well, yes, indeed. The Pro 2 Tag Team Championships are on the line, Billy. Yep. And that is... The That's big money. That's main events. Yes, indeed. You know, you're going to take that to the pay window. Yep. You know, that's what you got to do. It's not always going to be uh, oh. sunshine and rainbows. Big leap from... Uh, leg, leap from... Leg. Leg drop, I should say. Peppered him with a sort of running, shining wizard. Didn't get all of it, though, but he'll make up for the time. Now look at the look at the size of his legs, though. If he doesn't, doesn't get, what happens if he does get all of it, Billy? Yeah, that's it. But we've got to make a tag in here. The clock's going to be ticking down on Mark. It's tough for these Billingtons are, you can see it. Beautiful! Got range, German. Just smashed him with it. Oh, big hammerhead, though. I would have thought he would have been in there a lot quicker. Great to see he's got faith in his partner. Gee, well, that was an absolute deadlift, wasn't it? Sally was. Right from a standing position as well, just deadlift. Try and walk up to someone in the street and just pick them up when they don't want them to. You're not going to manage it. No, no. I've got, I've got toddlers myself, Billy, and trying to pick them up when they don't want to be picked up. No, there it is, you know <laughs> what I mean? It's like picking up a cat, it's all leg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful, oh. right to the back. Wow. What a shotgun drop kick that was. Peg to point. It rolls it's been all the Billingtons. Apart from that one little misstep, it's been all the Billingtons. And that shows you that is the economy of a premier tag team wow. making a recovery from that. Utilising the five. Here comes Tom. You love to see those tag team combination manoeuvres as well. That was a, a double snap suplex. Well, let's, so well, I don't want to take anything away from the Billingtons and who they are today because that's what we're talking about is the future of pro wrestling. But of course you remember the legacy, the pioneers of the British Bulldogs. And because of the students, not because of relations, I'm sure, because they're students of the game, they've watched that, kid. They've learned from that and they've brought it screaming in to 2022 and that is incredible to see. Y yes, indeed. Dynamite Kid and David Boy Smith, so many years ahead of their time. Oh, definitely. But you can see the techniques that these boys are using. I've taken that and taken it to the next oh, level. Beautiful snap air up. Just got him with a windmill kick, blasted him with a heel, straight into a hammer log. What's our boy got planned here? Oh, oh the club and forearm. Well, that's it. The, the Billingtons, I mean, for all their fan favourites, and you can't take it. You've got to love what they do in the ring. It's a mean streak in them, and it's got them very far. It's got them to the Pro 2 Tag Team Championships on the line. That's it, exactly. Should have hooked a leg, though. You've got, to, you've got to reach for that opposing leg. You've got to hook it in. And get those shoulders to the mat, Billy. Kid, it's not pro hugging. We're here to smash each other open. That's exactly what we're doing here. And I'm loving this. This Rob Valentine. I mean, to take a pounding like this and still be standing. Yes, indeed. It's, oh, he's going for a reverse of that hammer lock. And they've done very well keeping Big Hammerhead out. You can just hear him taking over. He is getting ready to explode the minute he gets oh. in that ring. Beautiful, got him. Street by Dennis is submission, doesn't have all of it, and he's way too close to the ropes. Yeah. Rob Valentine won't make that mistake a second time. No, he won't, but it's, you can see he's thinking. He was thinking was so sharp there. Yep. To get the champion down like that. Hey, earlier on, he saw an incoming bomb coming from Mark and just oh. sidestepped it. Beautiful. Straight over the shoulder. I, I, I can't believe the heavy hitting we're seeing from both of these teams, Billy. They're doing very, very well. Big hammerhead, though. Can't, uh, can't wait to get in. Oh, absolutely. And the fans, you can hear them here, Troon. Town Hall, oh. well behind these two. Going for that Jim Briggs yeah. special arm maneuver. Just trying to absolutely rip it out of his socket. Straight into submission. Gee, what's what an arm bar. We could get a surprise here. 
Rob Valentine is dialed in. Can he get his foot to the ro- he's got his foot to the rope, Billy. Kid, maybe they were playing rope a The explosiveness of the Billingtons, they've waited for their opportunity. They know that Mark picked up a stinger when he went to the outside, working on the arm. What? What are you doing? Stay in your man, son. Stay in your man. Can't give them a second. Going for that gym break special again. Back to it again. You can see crank right through from the tip of your fingers, right through to your shoulder, into your collarbone. Yes, indeed. We- wearing down his man. Yeah. Uh, you-, you cannot... Take it up. Stage. Roll straight through. Cranking on the wrist as well. It's one of the most wicked arm locks we have in pro wrestling today. Oh. Springboard back elbow. Showing a little bit of a high-flying ability himself. I still can't get over the size of this team. I'm very impressed oh. by... Wow, beautiful! Oh, shotgun drop kick. It's been shotgun drop kick after shotgun. Kid, Unbelievable. Kid, you called it. Here he comes, though. Oh, it's Hammerhead Smith. He's in the ring. <laughs> Thomas Billington of the Billington Bulldogs there. All right. I think we're going to find out what happens when an immovable force meets an incredible object. Well, we've seen the power. I got that wrong. <laughs> Already. It went well. I, I was going to let it slide, but... 10 points off Gryffindor. That's how it works. <laughs> okay, calling up a tie up. It's going to be power versus mass. Look at this. The, Gee, the high impact of the Billingtons taking on just the sheer size. Strikey. Okay. But that catch is catch can style that Thomas utilizes. That can bring it to a pound, pound, pound for pound, man versus man situation. Yeah, but if. If he can dial in on this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Straight to the outside. To the they just locked in. Gee, was. Oh, clubbing forearm to the back of the head. Oh, Oi, look at that. Made it seem effortless. Gee, well, I'll tell you what, Billy, there's no giving those wooden floors. Absolutely nailed it with the what's he got planned. Tom, he's not going to do it again. Look at this with ease. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, you know something we maybe wondered if it was going to be that easy for the Billingtons. It's a big hammerhead. Oh. oh, nailed him that time. Front row looked in a panic and I don't blame them. <laughs> Diving from the top rope straight to the floor. That wee guy's totally filled his pants and I can't blame him. I, I'm pretty much in the same boat myself, Billy. Well, that's because that's because of the drinking, kid. We need to talk about that. Really, honestly, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we'll get a word after the show over a drink. I mean, you should not be having. No, I, again, <laughs> kid. This is the problem. I'm trying to help. Nobody should be having full sugar drinks every hour on the hour. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know what anyone else thought I was talking about. It's... Anyway, thought, back to the match. I, I thought we were talking about full sugar drinks. Here's Big Hammerhead though, now in control. He's used the moment. Oh, crikey! When oh. you're. When you're built for just sheer destruction, like an athlete, like him. Yes, indeed, and, and, and it's that. I don't want to use oh. breeding in a match with Bulldogs, but... Uh, One, two. You can tell everybody in this match is just born to do this. They certainly are. Mark and Tom, they're at both ends of the spectrum. We've got the high flyer, we've got the powerful, high impact offense. And then you've got this big monster. Absolutely, absolutely unbelievable. The referee needs to keep a close eye over what Hammond yeah. Smith is doing here because he does have till five, but that was 4.99999 if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, big hammerhead. Looks like he's trying to rip out, rip out Tom's throat right in the middle of the Pro 2 wrestling ring. Yes, indeed. Right, right, right. And anything can happen. We've already had... Mo- oh! Right, already, oh, that was a... Came down right in the top of his head, right in the crown. He could be out. He's gone, we've got new champs! Must new be, champs! Must be. Oh. Wow. Hammerhead Smith, none too pleased. Yeah, you know, I'm beginning to wonder about this referee with these counts. That's all I've got to say. I'm beginning not- to wonder. What are you implying, Billy? Uh, I'm not implying nothing. Oh! oh. Absolutely it- drilled him out of nowhere! Brain buster, he's gone! Billington's would say no! What a hard fought match this is. Not enough damage, not enough damage done quite yet. I'm sweating my head off and I'm just watching. Oh, look at that, that's ridiculous. Look at this. Elbow big, big hammerhead was up oh. first. It's big chop right across the chest. At some point, it's got to come down to who wants it more. That's it. That's it. 
This team of Hammerhead, Smith and Rob Valentine, they can play the spoilers oh. here. Cranking on that arm. And having a big man like that on Oh, top and again. Of you, wearing you down. That's it, he's just gonna, listen, that's gonna rip across cartilage, that's gonna rip across sinews, shoulder joints coming, popping straight out. That can take years off your career, kid. Absolutely. An athlete like this just cranking away in this. And there's the tag, right? It's going to be the fresh oh. Rob Valentine. Not a bead of sweat in this Valentine. Look at this. Oh! oh. Axe handle to the, to the arm, it looked like there. Not a betting man, but let's say I was to put a bet down hypothetically, kid. Who's your man? Who's your man? Who's your teams? Come on. Well, Who's, who are you taking? Uh, it has been said that, that, that Kid Thompson is somewhat biased towards the Billington Bulldogs. And I don't agree with that, but I'm going to pick the Billington Bulldogs every time. Well, there it is. There it is. What about yourself? Darling? I'm going to bet Logan Smith to Zumbas. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that on Hammerhead Smith and Rob Valentine. That's what's happening. Oh, look at this. Oh, using, oh, oh. Utilising the referee. The referee needs to get out of control of this. This is going sideways quickly yeah, here. He's doing a good job. I, like, I'm not going to take too much away from the referee. Apart from his counting ability. But look at this. He's getting played like a fiddle. Come on, oh, referee. Oh, crikey. There's some damage done to that ankle of Thomas Billington there. And that's it. That's big trouble. Because that could be Mark having to carry all the weight, quite literally, in this match. Yes, indeed. So Look. much of the Bellington's ability relies on that speed, that running. Off rope. Pops oh. up straight down. It's over. It's over. Too much. Oh. Talk about your 2.999, Billy. Pick him up, drop him again. I don't know if that would be enough to get it done in these double tough oh, Bellingtons, but he makes tag. the tag. Let's go. Let's go, Mark. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm supposed to be impartial. Spinning back elbow. The Zimbas are all mine. Oh! Whoa! Turn him inside out! Gee, that's what, what I'm talking about. It's this intensity that the Bellingtons make. You get these athletes coming in these rough nights thinking they can take them apart. But you just... Oh! oh. Beautiful suplex. Absolutely beautiful. Making it seem effortless. Take over. Covering Valentine. Only a count of two. Referee. Well placed. Finally getting in there with those proper counts. Yes, indeed. And he's able to see those shoulders from where he was situated, Billy. Look at that. Bringing in the big man as well. You get a feeling we're getting into the final quarter of this match. It's anyone's to take. Yes, I'm surprised he didn't step oh. over the top rope, quite frankly. Wicked forearm. Just peppering the jaw. A little more stink in that one. Oh, wind up. Oh! oh the wind up European uppercut. Gets him down. Big hammer, Hammersmith, or Hammerhead, I should say. Too many names. Big Hammerhead. You saw the ring scuttling across the floor. Just the size of this big man. Wow. And he's down. He's down. Somebody's got to make the tag, surely. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. He did make the tag there. I think Mark has picked up a little injury wow, too. Oh, gets him! Patented hook clothesline there, Billy. Just nails him with it. Straight over, snap, suplex. Can he get the big man? Look wow. at that! It's on the men's side out, look at an exploded car airbag there. Huge leg drop. All right, making the count. Oh, like, I have seen the Billingtons knock people spark out with those snap suplexes. Absolutely. All right. I, I, I can't even believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe this match. Trying to go for... Is he going to take him for a Rainmaker? He what? can't get him up. He can't get him up. He can't get him up. Yeah, he was. You can see Hammerhead Smith just anchoring himself. And that's the size advantage, oh. kid. We knew we'd come into play. Absolutely. It's that, you're, you're exactly right, Billy. I couldn't sit in bed One. myself. Oh! Way too close to the ropes. Yes, you got just got a little too pepped up, taking the opportunity too early. That's fine, that's fine, but you got to regroup and put your man down. Put a tombstone, put a nail in the coffin of the Billington's Championship ring, because if you don't, you will not get another chance. Absolutely. The age-old adage goes, Billy, that the, that the challengers have to take those championship belts. That's belt. it, that's it. We're not paid by the hour here, come on. All right, well, we've got something planned for Tom. Rob no. Valentine just smashing him right across the jaw. Yes, indeed. I mean, paying no attention to the referee either. It's such a close fist straight to the jaw. Harakarana for the top rope. No way. Look at wow. this. Wow, what am I One, at? two. No. Oh. Oh, I was convinced that was new champs there, if I'm honest. Old school 
Old school ideals, new school offence. Top rope of Hurricanana made it seem effortless. And what, but Valentine's what, easily, what, six for two or something? He's, he's got to be that at least. How the hell is he snapping now, a guy of that size? Well, sidewalk slam, not into a backbreaker. I thought that but was he's way, a sidewalk slam. So. Way too close to that corner though, but you see that. We said it earlier. Valentine learning each and every second of the match. Yes, indeed. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and another pack breaker. Hugely Jeez, impressive. One. Two. No. Now, those pin, att pinning attempts, while not successful, have got to be wearing the Billingtons down. Oh, certainly. I mean, you look at, just look at the ring. Look at the, the body language of these two. Look at the physical makeup of these two teams. Mark and Tom have taken a hell of a lot of damage in this match, as much as they've laid out. Valentine and Smith are looking. Oh, oh. shock treatment. Blasted them with it. All right, we need something big, and those championships are coming home. I mean, you've got to give it up to Hammerhead Smith and Rob Valentine. They are, they are here to take these championship belts. All right, Valentine's waiting on something, waiting for his moment. Kick right to the temple, takes him straight through. Oh, nails him with a knee, almost a variation of a famous set. I've never seen that before. It was, it, was, it was almost like a, like a, like a famous a, a stomp, but with it the tip you, of the what? knee. Well, it takes you too long. Hammerhead Smith is way too out of his corner. The referee's trying to get him back. Oh! Oh, oh wow! Tom popped up there, gone with an electric chair from the second row. Referee didn't see it. One, two, oh. no! If only he'd managed to be able to get to his man just a little bit earlier. Didn't get him, didn't get him. Unreal. This is just a war of attrition right now, Mr. Kirkwood. They've actually put it all on. Don't ever call me Mr. Kirkwood again. How dare you? We're close personal friends. Remember the caravan and holiday we're going on? We're going to kick Tara, kid. This is how commentary teams are put together. Yes, indeed. Well, that's not till next week. I'm so. going to make a man of you. You're going to grow a full beard in your hair out. Oh, he's got him. Nails him with a tombstone. Is this enough, kid? Nice. Call it. Two. Two. No. Oh, gee whiz. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. I what toughness from Rob Valentine to kick out of that. That's unbelievable. Out, uh, pure instinct. What have we got here, kids? This looks like a top roll maneuver. Could it be the, the diving head? Oh, gets him! Right in the shoulder. That's Might have even it. stopped his heart. That's got to be a... Two. What? What? I can't believe what I'm seeing, Billy. And not just because of what I've been drinking. Oh, listen, Valentine and... Hammerhead Smith putting on one hell of a message to the tag team division, to the champions. Absolutely mind-boggling. All right. Trying to go for this earlier. Here Couldn't get Big Smith up, up, but with ease. Up. Nails him. Oh, tries the straight over. The retain. No. The impact that came down, it just broke the, the, the diamond lock he had on it. And, ah... That's Absolutely. a shame. That that honestly, that was the Billington's match to win right there. Yes, indeed. Can you imagine the force on the back of the neck, the the upper shoulders? Bridging straight through, taking down. Here's that tag oh. team chemistry. Double bulldog. Double bulldog, if you will. What are we gonna do though? Rolling straight over, perfectly placed. Is that ankle of Mark gonna hold up? Looks like they're both going up to the top rope, Billy. Hey. Double down, go back or go home. You only get to be tag team champion. Oh no! Oh, the combination of the knee drop and the headbutt, but it missed. And Here comes Mike Hammerhead. Hammerhead Smith looking to capitalize. We're gonna have new champs. Getting rid of Mark. Toss his man over the top. One, right. two. Oh. And the kick out. What did they have to do? What did they have to do to put these Billingtons down? Oh, look at oh. this. If he pops those hips, it's done. Oh! oh. One, two, we got new champs. No. Gee, but and, 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 uh, can I call your attention, Billy, to Rob Valentine just prone in the corner? Well, I don't know. The apron. Rob Valentine just reached into a completely different realm to pull that out. It was that incredible. The Billingtons had him down. Oh. Had him done. Delayed vertical suplex. Smashes him in it, rung his bell, cranked him right down in his neck as well, running right through the sternum. He is out. Oh. Pushes his man off and back again. I must say, the, 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 the sheer... Uh, uh, it looked like he'd blue-screened them, kid. It looked like he'd totally blue-screened them. Absolutely. And the sheer energy and strength required to get a big man like Hammerhead Smith yeah. over you. 
This big roughneck. Look at this mm, hammerhead. They, they don't build them like that these days in pro wrestling. Yes, indeed. Putting on a hell of a showing, cranking down. But that's that world of sport legacy, that world of sport yep. family. Gee but he, was. But he's brought new ideals to it. Yes, indeed. That wickedness, you can see that oh, legacy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slide. Just sidestepped it. Oh. Big Larry, though, takes the big man down. Mark put everything behind that. Yes, indeed. And, and, and he rolled his man back into it. He can only win the match. Here we go, here we go. The of the ring. Here we go, big hammerhead, though. Looks like he's ready. Oh, takes a drop kick right he to the shoulder. Kick. Sends him missiled like across the ring. But now we need to get a tag. You need to get the fresher men in. Valentine's back in his feet. Yes, indeed. Valentine must have recuperated. Got some of that energy back. Here comes a tag. All right, we're switching round. Let's go. Oh, how did they even pop one out from that distance? Oh my god, why? He was like a bit under a foot away and he pops him. Oh, get some oh, beautiful man. bridge. bridge. It's locked in. No. That was like a shotgun drop kick on site. That was incredible. I don't even know. Like, honestly, there must have been less than a foot between them and he managed to get up and just blast him with that drop kick. It's, it's, it's utterly mind boggling, Billy. All right. What's Tom got planned? Oh, knife, bomb gets him with it. Band. Cranks him on the neck. Not enough to get it done. Hammerhead was making his way over to break the pen anyway, but uh, I, th I think Rob Valentine managed to get out of that. Hey, these athletes are all in great shape, great condition, but you got to think they're breathing heavy. You can see it now, big Hammerhead, the big high-impact heavy hitter. Oh. Valentine managed to absolutely blast a snap in security just absolutely out of nowhere. That step up made it seem effortless. Absolutely but this is it. You get the feeling we've only got so many. You only get so many shots on your bingo card. There's only so many left. Absolutely. And how, he's, it looks like he's about to use another He's taking one. way too long, way too long. Oh. oh! The Fernando's kick. Just popped him with it. Hey, you might not like the way it's done, but you've got to keep those championships in that trophy cabinet at home. Absolutely. Hey, and it's nothing that Valentine and Hammerhead Smith wouldn't have done themselves. Well, it's a long way back home. Tom's up boys. there. Poison Rana, is this what's coming? Oh, oh no! Oh. Folded him up. Like a cheap deck chair. Valentine's Day is cancelled. Yeah. The Billingtons retain. Billingtons retain. Well done, Ked. The pleasure. I'm going to let you go back to the day job. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. I will talk to you later on tonight. Yes, indeed. Great show in here. The Billington Bulldogs, they marched into Pro 2 Wrestling. They marched into Trin. They marched into the concert hall. They marched into Joker's Wild. And they are still the Pro 2 Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Right. Kurt and Kidd are going to be back on commentary shortly. I'm going to see you in another championship match. What a night. More action to come here at Pro 2 Wrestling.
Episode of Pro Tuesday that was folks In the next episode Things will get even wilder Because we have UEWA Heavyweight Champion Andy Wilde Taking on challenger The inevitable Stone Malone You don't want to miss that folks That is a heavyweight clash of titanic proportions But as well as that We've got a triple threat match For the women's Bells Division Championship Rosie Knight will defend that championship Against Angel Hayes And Ellie Armstrong That is some hard hitting stuff for all the gold. But as well as that, we've got the final of the Joker's Wild Championship Tournament. Logan Smith taking on the most mysterious being in all of wrestling, Zero, to crown the very first Why So Serious Champion. It's all to play for, so hit like, share and subscribe to find out what happens. But I also want to let you know, we have a show coming up at Bounce Station Irvine. It's called Brew Station on Sunday, March 5th. Book your tickets with Bounce Station now. Thank you so much, guys.